One of the most beautiful forms of Turkish art is ebru, or water marbling. A truly extraordinary graphic art form, ebru involves the creation of designs with dye on the surface of water, and then carefully placing paper on the surface of the water in order to absorb the dye in all the richness of its fluid patterns. The earliest extant examples of Ebru are found in the collections of Topkapi Palace in Istanbul and date back to the early 16th century. The highly refined nature of this art form, however, suggests that Ebru dates back even further in the history of the Ottoman Empire. Traditionally, works of Ebru have rarely been signed by the artists who created them. As a result, many of the great masters of this art remain anonymous, even to this very day. Present-day practitioners of Ebru typically study for more than 10 years before they can be considered to be master marvelers. Over the course of their study, they perfect the process of making the proper dyes, mixing just the right kind of water bath, and creating their intricate designs. Since each dye bath can only be transferred to paper once, every original piece of Ebru is unique. The first step in Ebru is making the perfect dye. Dyes are created from various organic substances. Soil from Istanbul, white lead, indigo from Pakistan, and red ochre are used to create the ideal color. 24 karat gold may be added to the dye in order to provide shimmer and shine. It is not unusual for Ebru artists to spend years simply learning the art of mixing dye before ever attempting their first marble. After making the dye, the next step for the marbler is to gather his or her instruments. Homemade horsehair brushes for detail work needles for dropping dye into the water, and homemade combs for drawing the dye through the water. The water is placed in a tray, only slightly larger than the paper to be used. It is at this point that all the creativity and ingenuity that went into the preparation process begins to yield its fruit, as the artist spontaneously cooperates with the properties of his or her medium, namely the water and the dye floating on it. Using a mental image of the finished product and being open to have this image transformed according to the nature of the water and the dye, the marbler drops dye onto the water's surface with the needles, spreads the dye with the handmade combs, and uses the brushes to draw a design. Flowers, birds, geometric designs, and calligraphy are common choices for the Ebru artist.
Ebru, like friendship and dialogue, is a swirling harmony of color and texture, which can only be accomplished through the most careful application of knowledge, wisdom, skill, creativity, and love.